Man, I need to shave. It's been about two or three days since I last had a shave. Look at that stubble. Yeah, it's been since Friday since I last shaved. But, um, come to think of it, I just got a new soap that shaved in yesterday. And I'm going to use it today for my shave. Guys, check it out. Let's go shave. Stay tuned. So guys, Grady Sarah is back. Welcome to my channel, Brian the Floridian. And it is sunny. <laughs> it just literally stopped raining about two minutes ago. Right when I did the intro, it was raining, but now it's nice and sunny. It's coming right through the windows here. So hopefully the glare won't be bothersome on this video. But guys, just got a new soap and shave then. And this is called Heritage Hill Sovereignty. So a little three ounce soap from this the couple arsons that, that are actually based in, in Jackson, Florida, which is north of here, north of Tampa. And they started a company called Heritage Hill. And this is their I think one of their newest newest releases, I believe. I think they released a soap since then called uh Midnight Ride. But this is not too old. This this just I think this just came out a few months ago. So Sovereignty and the artisans are Josh and John. And old college roommates, they're both wet shavers. They went to a college called Mars Hill in North Carolina. Uh, after, after they got done graduating, they, 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 they took their wet shaving, um, their level of wet shaving into making soaps, you know, became artisans making soaps. Pretty cool uh, start, pretty cool hobby to turn into a business, but definitely love supporting these guys. They're Florida, you know, they're Florida brothers here up north. Yeah, so guys, this will be a, a straight razor shave. Got about two days, about three days worth of growth. I haven't shaved since Friday, so this will be a good test for the, the the old vintage straight razor here. So I'll be using my, this is my MJ Higgins straight razor here, the 5 8 So this is a, a vintage razor. And this part, the shaft was actually made, I'm estimating it was made from 1850, somewhere between 1850 and 1890. So very old razor. I don't think the scales are exactly original, but they're pretty cool looking scales. It's got the, uh, uh, this is actually acrylic, so pretty, pretty cool design there. And this used to say something, but not anymore. So I'm not sure if this is, it doesn't really say anything on there. Just a little label on the scales there, but pretty cool looking razor. This is a 5 eighths, kind of a, a smaller straight razor here with a little bubber notch and nice and honed. So definitely gonna be testing out taking this hair off my face. But I'm using this razor here for my shave. And I'm using a new brush I just got recently too. This is my Simpsons, uh, tr is it called Trafigure number three. So this is a synthetic, a synthetic brush with a 28 millimeter knot. So pretty decent size knot, very soft, but decent backbone. And I heard a lot of good things about this brush. And it's got a little short stubby handle there, which I like. And I've seen these in the ivory handle, but I, want, I saw it in the black. I wanted to try it with the black, the black handles here. So it's a pretty cool looking brush. So this would be for my shave, along with the straight razor of the MJ Higgins and the Sovereignty Soap by Heritage Hill. But guys, let me go ahead and rinse my face, get my face fully hydrated here. I'll probably put the cube on my face, kind of get a little more slickness on my face for the shave. This has been a while since I did a straight razor shave. It's been about, about at least two or three weeks. I am. Definitely a safety razor shaver, but I do like to pick up a straight every once in a while. All right, guys, let me rinse my face, wash my face, and I will be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Got my face fully hydrated here. I put the cube on my face by uh, PAA. This is the uh, the cube 2.0 with the with the charcoal and the uh, menthol, which is which is really nice here in Florida. So that's it's a pre shaved cube. So I put some on my face and kind of rubbed it in my face. But I got the Heritage Hill Sovereignty Soap loaded right here on the Simpson uh, Trill Figure 3 brush. I'm saying right, Trill Figure, maybe, I'm just gonna say uh, T3 brush. But this is a synthetic brush here. Go ahead and do that first face lather with the soap. Get these bristles really nice and soft for the shave. So 
So I'm more of a safety razor shaver. More than that, more than, than a straight razor shave, but every once in a while, I do like to pick up a straight razor, razor and do a shave. Because I really enjoy it using the straight razor sh for shaving when I have time. But since I don't usually, you know, since I've maybe waited a couple days a lot of times for uh, shaves, and I'm usually shaving at night when I don't have much time, I use a, I use a safety razor, so. But I do like a good straight razor shaver every once in a while. Not by all means an expert uh, straight razor shaver, but I do like to pick up a straight razor and try to use it, uh, try to get better at it. And for a while, I actually was using one exclu exclu you know, exclusively for my shaves. I think for about a couple months, I think I was just using a straight razor, you know, straight razor for most of my shaves, just just trying to get a hang of it. But anyway, that's a good, nice, good lather there from the uh, soap there. So pretty decent soap. I, I think I want to say their soaps are tallow based. Uh, Hair Chill, they make great soaps. They lather, they provide great lather and uh, pr you know provide great slickness. They, I have one of their soaps before I bought from them, which was the Patriot, which I love, which is a lime and patchouli. It's it's very, very a nice, nice scented soap, very uplifting, very an eye-opening soap. You, you know, that, you know, that's great for shaving in the morning, but you know, the start of your day. But this is a little bit different. This soap's a little bit more a different scent. And I'll describe it to you in just a second. Let me do that first pass here with the MJ Higgins here, straight. So I swapped this a, a bunch of times for this for this shave, and it's got a nice, nice hone on it. So very, still very sharp. I haven't sharpened it since I got it from the seller. So they, they did a really good job on, on honing this razor. So I just been stropping every time I use it. I think I used it probably maybe about, maybe about five times uh, since I got it in the mail. My wife is next door in the other bathroom, so you probably hear her sneezing. Our other bathroom is right there, other side of this wall. So even though it's in the back of the house, it's fairly close. So decent, decent, uh, so plenty sharp, has a decent, still a decent edge to it. And my camera just messed up again. Let me just put this up a little bit here. This camera holder is, is, uh, squirrely. So I might have to move it a few times if it drops down to my shave. Yeah, plenty sharp. Yeah, and the soap itself is nice and slick. I think I, I think I made it slicker, slicker with the uh, with the cube also by Hie, which is great because I do have a lot of stubble on my face. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> Stupid camera keeps falling. All right, hopefully this will stay this time here. Let's see if this will stay this time. I just got a new camera holder from 
from five below, which is around the corner of my house right here. And it has like, it's, it has like about 10 session cups on it. But every once in a while, they, if one of them comes off, all of them will come off. So it kind of keeps, you know, if it stays on, it stays on really well. But if it doesn't, it'll come right off. So anyway, guys, that's one half of the face. Pretty nice, pretty nice first pass there. I'm gonna switch my hand and go to the other side here. Go ahead and see if I can do this. This is, this is my least proficient side or, or hand. Soap is not very strong scented, it's, it's, but it's a, it's, it's a nice, it's a lightly scented soap, but very nice though. It's got, the scent notes are actually, uh, I'll read them to you right now. They're black tea, bergamot, cedar, uh, jasmine, and patchouli. So not a whole lot of scent notes, but definitely the, the tea note is very prominent in the scent. Yeah, it's just taking out taking off the hair easily without no problem. I got a little bit of irritation from my I used the the Rex and Baxter on my, on my neck the other day, and like a, I think it was like number number five, which is pretty aggressive for me because I have sensitive skin, and I got my my neck all chewed up there, so it's gonna be a little bit irritated. So I gotta be careful of that. Might be a little bit of blood here. Uh, let me go ahead and rinse this off. Yeah, nice edge. I think I stropped this thing 50 times before I did the shave, so it did a good job of, of maintaining the edge on this on this straight. But guys, first pass is pretty, is in the bag. Very, very nice. Man, that is very smooth. Yeah, no nicks so far. So, not sure how I managed that because my this is really this was really irritated from that Rex and Bass that you know that I did the number five on, but man, I'm pretty happy with it with this with this first pass. But guys, soap is really nice. It's very lightly scented. I would say by I would say the, the soap strength is probably on a scale from zero to ten, probably about a five. I would say four or five. Not very strong, but very, very soothing, kind of like a light, lightly scented soap that's very pleasing to the, to the um, smell. Like I said, the the uh, the black tea note is very prominent. And I do smell a little bit of, I'm trying to think what I smell in this soap. I smell the black tea for sure. And maybe a little bit of patchouli too. So I'm trying to pick up the other notes in the, in the, in the, uh, the scent description, but great, great first pass guys. But anyway guys, let me rinse my face and I'll probably do a two pass shape. So I'll probably go against the grain with the straight razor. But I would be right back. All right, guys, back to my second pass here. Yeah, I'm enjoying the shaves. Uh, this shave, the shave soap is really pleasant, actually. Even though it's not very strong, it's still the pleasant soap to use because the slickness is there for sure. And I want to say their soaps are tallow-based, so a lot of decent ingredients in their soap. 
I'll leave this. I'll leave the uh, ingredient list right there so you guys can see what's on the uh, ingredient list for the soap. But uh, pretty, pretty basic. I mean, it's not a a soap base. Say like you know, like your like a Kaizen from you know A and e, you know A and E soaps or or your CK six. But it's still decent, decent base. I would say this is probably on par with Sterling. Very similar to what they what they make. A good tallow based soap. And I'm gonna show you guys the, the soap itself is a little bit not too I scooped it out with my guitar pick, but it's a little bit a little bit harder than other soaps I've tried. So it's probably about middle of, of the road in, in hardness. So not a not a croak, not a croak, but definitely not a uh what do you call it? The hard soaps that you, that you find like in your to box or you know the uh, triple mill soaps. That's what, that's, that's what I'm gonna say. All right, guys. Let me go ac across the grain here. So I'm gonna go. Hopefully, I'll do this. Do this unscathed from any cuts. First pass was really phenomenal. Since I haven't shaved in a long time. The strained. All right, let me try to go down the sides here where I cut myself. Very sharp blade. I'm going to switch my hands and go all on this side here. So definitely a way of shaving where you don't, you really don't want to rush this kind of shaving. We're going to take your time and, you know, enjoy the shave. Or if, if, if you don't, if you rush, you will cut yourself for sure. Man, this is a nice, nice honed hone razor here. Let me go across the grain on this side here. Let me move the camera a little bit different now. Like I said, this this camera holder is squirrely. It keeps wanting to move around a little bit. Kind of hard to go across the grain across your chin there. At least for me it is. Let me go across this way here. Man, this camera is not want to stay up here. I do not know why. Okay. up a little higher okay all right let's go down I think I'm gonna go across the grain against the grain on the neck here
That first pass was really good. I took a lot of hair off that first pass. So I don't definitely want to go over my my face too much with a razor here. Unless I have if I don't have to. Because that first pass was awesome. Hope you guys are doing well. Today is toward the end of August. I want to say today is uh, August 29th, if I'm right. The last weekend of preseason football in my hometown, Timber Buccaneers, they lost all three games. So hopefully they'll, 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 I mean, it's just basically a glorified training camp, but hopefully they'll turn around and, you know, win all their games in the regular season, much as they, you know, win as, as many games they can in the, in the regular season and get to the playoffs again. But anyway, guys, that's a shave. Yeah, I'm not going to do another pass because that was really, really nice. Very smooth. That first pass took out a lot of hair off my face. I mean, I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but man, that first pass really, really cut the hairs like butter. It was a great first pass. So I really had to, I really didn't have to do too much with the second pass. And yeah, I don't feel much stubble at all. But anyway, guys, we're gonna side face and be back for the post shave. All right, guys, back for the post shave. First, first of all, the shave was excellent. The soap gave good cushion, gave great slickness. Um, I mean, the cube helped out a lot, but the soap itself also did a great job on, on with the straight razor shave I just did. Yeah, great slickness. I had no problem moving the blade across my face because of the slickness of the, of the Heritage Hill soap. So definitely, their soaps are awesome, Heritage Hill. Josh and John, great job on your soaps, on your formula, your soap base. I love your scents. And really like to, I really do love this scent. It is a different scent. If you don't like black tea, you might not like it, but man, this is a different, it's a soothing type scent. So, so it's kind of like, it smells a little bit like tobacco in a way, even though it doesn't contain tobacco. Kind of like a, a soothing, enjoyable scent you can do with a shave at night, in my opinion. Uh, my Patriot soap, I, I love that soap, in, you know, during the day, in the morning, because it wakes me up. This is a soap I, I would enjoy using at night with this, you know, with a scent profile to kind of, you know, for a nice relaxing shave. So great, great soaps, three ounce soaps. These are, I think these are $9.99 on Razor Company and also on their website, on the Heritage Hill website. Can't beat it. That's like three thirty-three dollars per ounce. And one of the only, only artists that has the three ounce size, which I like. So easy to get through a soap, you know, easy to finish a soap. And I took a good size, dime size uh, bit out of there for my shave. So I love I love the containers, love the artwork on there. Has the uh, Boston Tea Party looking picture on there, inspired picture, you know, with the uh, you know with the Americans dressed as Indians dumping the tea into into Boston Harbor, I believe. Yeah, so pretty cool looking artwork, and that's their soaps are are pretty much inspired are revolutionary inspired soaps. So pretty cool looking um, concept, artwork, scents, price, value, slickness, cushion, lather. I just love their soaps, big fan of their soaps. And they have a Washington, I believe, uh, John Paul Jones, Midnight Run, Midnight Run, and also The Patriot. So they have a few scents. They don't have a whole lot, but they have a few that are great. Uh, I'm hoping to get the other other two or three that I'm missing in my shave bin. And one thing about them, they also give 5% of their profits to this this uh, charity called Hidden Battles, which is uh, which which supports uh, you know helps financially support the mental health of first responders and also veterans from you know from the military. So. Definitely a great cause, great charity, to, you know, for, you, for for them to support. You know, their profit five percent of the profits go toward that charity. So, so props to Heritage Hill for doing that for the mental health of you know mental health 
treatments of veterans and first responders. All right, guys, I don't have this. I don't have the uh, post shave to match this. This particular, you know, they don't make a post shave yet to match their soaps. So I'll be using the next best thing, which is uh, Club and Panade Reserve. This is called the Sweet Rum. So it kind of smells similar to this uh, scent, the you know, scent of sovereignty. So to me, it smells a little bit similar. Has that has that soft. This is not a this is not a bay rum. This is like this is a type of different rum. It's got a it's got a blackberry, currant, and plum note to it. So a, a tropical inspired uh, aftershave, if you want to say that. So it's called sweet rum. So definitely. To me, it matches the soap pretty well. Put some on the face here. And just a great actor should be used for really any soap, really, that pairs up, you know, really pairs up with any, any soap out there, really, in my opinion. Uh, the the Panag Club and Reserve line is awesome. I love their, I love their after shaves. So guys, that's my shave. Heritage Hill Sovereignty was the soap I use. Great soap. Um, looking forward to getting, you know, the, their next three, I think the three that they have on their website, hopefully I'll, I'll, I'll obtain all three of those. I mean, they're, I mean, think about it. You can buy, you can buy five soaps for probably from them for maybe less than $60. So great value, three ounce soaps, great value. Love the artwork, love the uh, formula. And I use the MG Higgins Street Razor, which is, this is uh, made in Sheffield, England. It's a five eight barber notch, uh, vintage razor. So great edge. I got a nice shave from it, and I usually go against the grain. I, I would usually go against the grain for um, for another pass, but man, this this took off a lot of hair off that first pass. And look how slip, look how look how pretty pretty smooth my face is from that first pass. I mean, I just had to do a touch up pass for my second pass, and this thing did a great job uh, taking off the hair, you know, for that shave. As well as soap, I mean, the soap did a great job too. So use that. Use the Simpsons uh, Trifigure Figure uh, Number Three brush. This is a 20, 28 millimeter synthetic knot. Uh, they do make a ivory handle, but this is a black one, which I like. That. So guys, that's my shave. Hope you guys enjoy it. Hopefully my camera wasn't going all over the place with the you know with the camera mount on my on my mirror because, like I said, this is like one of those. Uh, camera one of those camera mounts that I got from from five below so a lot of times I'll hold the camera pretty well a lot of times it won't so still learning this mount I might use it I might use my other mount next time for my other shave you know my front facing mount but anyway guys hope you guys enjoy your summer hope you guys enjoy football NFL is coming back so it's college football next weekend can't wait man I can't wait for football to start again and also baseball playoffs too. Baseball is going to be grinding down and getting into the, you know, the World Series. So can't wait for that too, guys. It's going to be a great fall, and I I hope you guys enjoy your shaves. Hope you guys enjoy your week and take care. I'll guys see you guys later. Take care.